video we're going to cover how to go over the auto base settings on an SPS 985 or an SPS 985L. So the first thing you want to do is turn on the unit and check and make sure the Wi-Fi indicator is flashing. If the Wi-Fi indicator is not flashing what you're going to want to do is press and hold the power button for about 30 to 60 seconds to reboot the unit. You'll see the GPS and radio indicators come on solid and once they do then you can let go of the power button and the Wi-Fi indicator should start flashing. So once it does you can go to your Wi-Fi connections and you should see Trimble Base and the last four digits of the serial number that you're trying to connect to. So go ahead and click connect and then it's going to come up and ask you for a security key and the security key is going to be A B C D E A B C D E twice. So you press OK and you're going to go to your web browser and you're going to enter the IP address for the Trimble uh, web interface. So that IP address is 192.168.142.1. And sometimes you may have to hit enter on it uh, two or three times to actually get it to connect. Alright, so now we're connected in, in the web interface. The first thing you want to do is go to receiver configuration and general and check your auto base settings. So you always want to make sure the auto base is set to enable with warning to make sure that you get accurate corrections. Um, if it's set to without warning or uh, here position anywhere, the base will transmit even if it's not set up at the right height or the exact uh, position on the control point. So to get accurate corrections, you always want to make it set, make sure it's set to enable with warning. And then next you can go to uh, application files and under the file name you have a drop down so you can see all of the current app files that are stored on this unit. So every time you set up on a control point on a job site it'll store uh, the app file. And so if you leave go to another job site and come back to that exact same point um, it should recognize the coordinates from this app file and then uh, restart using the auto base function. So um, once you're done with that, you can just exit out and power the unit off and you should be good to go. So that's how we check the auto base settings on a 985 or 985L.